You know, Bill Maher, to me, I've watched Bill Maher for the past 25, 30 years. Um, from his day when he was on the movie DC Cab with Max Gale, Marsha, I forgot the girl, the sister's name, who played Roz on Night Court. Mr. T, the two muscle-bound twins, um, Alec Baldwin, um, I forgot the other brother, Baldwin brother, and all of them. And I, I'm going to tell you something with Bill Maher. And, you know, and when I watch, used to watch Real Time with Bill Maher and all this stuff, you know, when, when he, not Real Time, before then it was known as Politically Incorrect. And how he appeared at times on the Arsenio Hall show during the early 90s. That's when George H.W. Bush was president at the time. Um, Bill Maher, to me, had always, those years, had been kind of a suspect. Then, you know, went on to like this. I knew about his infamous romance with um, an Irv. And all y'all better understand something to all the guys. His infamous romance with Kareem Stephens, a.k.a. Superhead. In case y'all don't know who I'm talking about, who's, who's that is. Let me just go back and take y'all back in time for a second. Just give me a moment, people. Y'all probably getting where I'm going at with this. Okay, that's Superhead, Kareem Stephens. In the 90s, y'all know she wrote that book, um, Confessions of a Video Vixen. Kareem Stephens was taught by Ice-T about how to get dudes, dudes money without giving up the VJJ or whatever like that. You know, and then as time marched on, y'all know the infamous book she wrote, how she turned around and slept with how she got um, <clears throat> favors from everybody from Ja Rule to Shaquille O'Neal um, several other uh, athletes and entertainers you know Shaq's on the most famous he literally bought furniture for her for her apartment so that way he could, he could it'll be more fitting for him now, before anybody say, no, I'm not breaking no man code or nothing like that, it was, was said in the book, okay, in her book that she wrote. And then she wrote a part two to it as well, how she said she had Lil Wayne and all this. And even the infamous porn flick with Mr. Marcus. I don't need to go any further. But she coupled up with Bill Maher at a time though I think it was like in the late 90's early 2000's if if anybody that can totally remember I'm assuming it's like early, two th early 2000's late 90's around within that time period if any of the subs know man just comment down below because I, I could have got it mixed up wrong but anyway though that's not the point where it come down to when it come down to the son of a bitch just recently on Real Time with Bill Maher um, he would, he had a show, did a show on there. I think he had a Nebraska senator on there, and he, where he unexplicably, no, no, uh, you know, no excuse, and it's unacceptable, using, using the N word on live TV, on his show. So what 
I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just um, play the audio. play the audio here just hold on one second okay I'm back sorry I just got the snippet just now and stuff like that so I guess he was talking with the Nebraska senator who looks like a piece of shit himself racist piece of shit so I'm just gonna let y'all hear it you're welcome we'd love to have you work in the fields with us <laughs> work in the field that's part of that that's the senator I'm a house nigga <laughs> No people in the studio initially laughed at the map. Now, now you heard the people. That was from a snippet from them. Now you heard the people like in the audience. They laughed when he said that. Even that senator was even laughing at that. Come work in the field. Fit. That's cold word. Field senator. I'm a house nigga. Okay. See, the thing is now, see, thanks to Savage 45 being in office, this is the atmosphere we, we have to deal with now. Um, where now, they ain't no longer got to speak in code. They can come straight out open with it and all that. And, and be, well, be racist about it. Now, I know Black Twitter took took the took it to Bill Maher and lighted, lit his ass up. That I know for a fact. But they not the only ones who's took an issue with with um Mr. Politically Incorrect. Just recently, Ice Cube, Mr. O'Shea Jackson, he's got his birthday coming up on the 15th. You know, yeah, he got my last name. So you best believe I'm a Cube fan. And like my brother, he's a Gemini. Like my older brother, he's a Gemini. You know. Just to let y'all know that. Him and Pac's birthday are basically on the same day. I think 15th day Pac's on the day after. Anyway, Ice Cube say that I think going to be later on this month, like on the 21st or whatever, that he will be appearing on, on, on Bill Maher's show to confront him about the use of the N-word. Now, as I stated before just a few seconds ago, I am an Ice Cube fan and all that. And yes, I still li I listened to N.W.A. when I was coming up in the 80s and stuff. In the, seven, in the 80s, in 87 when I was finishing high school and all that. When I listened to Fuck the Police the first time, Q's voice was just captivating. And I said, nah, this man, he on, he on, I said back then he was on another level type stuff. But Ice Cube isn't the only one. Uh, Killer Mike um, is also with that, but I see like they had given him a pass. As I would say, I'm just going to go ahead. Let me get this out of here. And we're just going to get right, right down to it. You know, um, Ice Cube still plans to appear on Real Time with Bill Maher. Kevin Hart calls N-word usage tacky. You know, I know Kevin Hart got involved in this. Ice Cube plans to go head-to-head -head with Bill Maher over his use of the N-word. The 47-year-old rapper. Yeah, I, I got cued by a year. <laughs> was already scheduled to appear on Real Time. And after Maher, Maher made an offensive comment on air last week, calling himself a house house nigga. Cube does not plan to back out the appearance. I never expected him to. That's one thing about with Ice Cube. When he goes into something, he goes full throttle. He don't stop. Instead, the Check Yourself singer, see how they said that, had used the N-word frequently in his own rhymes. Now, this is going to be what the white supremacists are going to use will address Mars' use of it, a source close to the situation told the news. Cube is set to appear on the HBO talk show this Friday to discuss the... Oh, it's going to be this Friday, so tune in. So discuss the 25th anniversary of his album, Death Certificate. 
Great album. Still got it. The record was made following the Rodney King beating, and Cube's rep said in a statement that the timing is perfect, noting it sadly speaks to many of the same race issues we as a society are still dealing with today. Now, Kevin Hart had appeared on The Breakfast Club uh, this morning, where he also discussed Mar Mars comments and called it tacky. Shoot. While the comedian does uh, said that he doesn't think Mar is a racist, good luck with that, he did find it inappropriate and not right. Now, Kevin Hart, he's an, he also is giving Bill Maher a pass. I don't put nothing past none of these jokers, man. None of these old hook nose jokers. To say that and to say, say it the way you said it, and as comfortable as you said it in a jokey form, you're wrong. Let me read that again. To say that and say it the way you said it, and as comfortable as you said it in a joking form, you're wrong. Uh, Kevin Hart, you just answered your own question. Of course he said it, said it, it was wrong, but he said it comfortably because see, that's how Bill Maher says it all the time. Probably in the confines of his own home, saying goddamn niggers and so-and-so, so-and-so this. See how they get out here and they tell on themselves. I just want y'all to remember this um this paragraph here. Now, Bill Maher, who's 61, wow, I didn't know he was that old, shit, said the words during an interview with Nebraska Senator, yeah, that's him, uh, Ben Sasse, or Sase, or whatever his name is, who had just invited him to visit the state and work in the fields. Now, the host responded, you know, you heard it already, Senator, I'm a house nigga. Now, as recently, you know, Bill Maher, he eventually apologized and said he regretted the statement. Now, HBO is choosing to continue the series and keep Maher on board with the network. Wow. Mm. But when Arsenio Hall, back in the 90s, when he brought Louis Farrakhan on his show, they canceled it. Sort of a dominant standard. But... <clears throat> This has also reached Capitol Hill. Um, the man that Savage 45 fears the most, Senator and rising star Senator Al Franken, yes, Al Franken, another comedian turned, which is a politician, and he got Capitol Hill on they damn rocker right about now, as, especially the Arkham Asylum Administration. Uh, he calls Mars comments inappropriate and offensive and decided to back out of his scheduled appearance on real time after the host's use of the racial slur. <coughs> of course, you know, he's a senator, so, you know, he's not, he's going to, as a comedian, yeah, he's going to distance himself from that. But this is what's going on right now, though, you know. The man who wrote Straight out of Compton who wrote most of the lyrics for the famed rap world's most dangerous group will be confronted. I've never known Ice Cube to back down from a challenge. And this is no surprise to me when he said that he's going to appear on Mars show this front this Friday and going to confront him about the use of it. But then I know I'm going to get some comments from white trolls that's going to get out there and say, well, shoot, or some coons, they're going to say, well, black people use it, you call each other niggers all the time and all this other stuff. So freaking, not really so freaking what? It shouldn't be used, period. Hell, even I shouldn't even be saying it. But this is going to be, but when it comes down to a caucasoid like Mar, you know, who also said some offensive things when it came down to the small hats, aka so-called Jews, you know, and religious beliefs, you know, saying he's an atheist or whatever like that, you know, but he said a lot worse, but still here. But like I said, Cube isn't the only one too. I also heard Killer Mike is going to be also confronting uh, Bill Maher on on the on those same thing as well. 
But the thing is, the question I wants to know is this. You think Cube gonna go full nuclear or he just gonna he just gonna let him have it? Or he gonna is he gonna bring back the ice cube or the NWA days and all that? And by the way, I love the, the shirt that he wear, you know. I just I just wanna know. But um yeah, it was inappropriate. It's unacceptable. Bill Maher should know him better. And as I showed y'all before, shoot, he shouldn't even be doing nothing like that, especially if you, you know, you used to go ahead back in the days and you boinked. You boinked Superhead. I mean, Kareem Stephans. Then that should, you know... That should, that should tell you something. But it's like this what I say. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And I'm going to leave a link in the description for that story. And I'm going to leave the, the link in the description for, um, for her book. I'm pretty sure ladies have probably come across that book. And... You know, I remember before Mickey Minaj, let me just throw this in here, before Mickey Minaj, Lil' Kim, I, I still recall some women who read that book and they wanted to be just like her. She sent the very wrong message to think that's the way how to go ahead to come up is by going ahead and giving up the VJJ to somebody that's established like an athlete or entertainer or somebody like... Bill Maher, you know, so I'm going to leave the link in the description for that book, but let me know what y'all think about this, and I'll be back with another video on this.